Hello students, welcome back to the Tantrizer Physics classes. Today's lecture is on relative velocity. Almost we are we have all uh, completed mechanics and relative velocity uh, lecture on relative velocity may be the last few lectures. Maybe I will deliver two lectures on relative velocity. First I will explain, then I will give you some examples. So let us start with the relative velocity. What we mean by relative velocity? Number one. Relative velocity means, you see, velocity is not absolute. If a person says that, uh, that um, person says a body is moving in velocity 10 meters per second in the north direction, let me suppose. The other person may say that the same object is moving 15 meters per second in the south direction. Both are correct in their own frames of reference. So, velocity is relative, it is not absolute. Different people have different uh, perceptions about the same object. A person may say it is moving faster, the other person may say it is moving slower. The bus is moving on the uh, roadside, person on the platform, he will say the bus is running with 60 km per hour. But a person inside the bus may say, that the bus is at rest with respect to him because the distance between the passenger in the bus and the driver that is fixed that distance is not changing so he will say uh, the passenger in the bus will say uh, the driver is at rest and the driver looking back at the passenger will say passenger is at rest both are at rest with respect to each other but the person on the platform who is watching the bus running on the road he will always say that the uh, bus is moving 60 km per hour so, different persons have different perceptions about the same object. So, that is what we mean by relative velocity. And in physics, only the relative velocity has a meaning, not the absolute velocity. Now, when you say the object is moving some, uh, okay, 30 meters per second, and you are not mentioning the observer, you just say the object is moving 30 uh, meters per second, and you don't mention the observer, the observer is always supposed to be at rest on the ground. So, these velocities are always, which you mentioned without mentioning the observer, is all, they are always with respect to a person on the ground. Okay, now let me find out uh, the expressions for this relative velocity. What is the velocity, uh, velocity of object 2 with respect to object 1? What is velocity of that person with respect to the another person? So that, for that, I want to develop the equations. Let me take a coordinate system here. Let me take a coordinate system because everything is related to the coordinate system. It is x axis, y axis, and its origin. And here is a particle having position x1. Here is a particle having position x2. It is particle number 1. It is particle number 2. Right? If I ask you what is the velocity of this particle with respect to this origin, origin is fixed, it is fixed. If I ask you what is the velocity of this uh, particle with respect to origin, the answer is differentiation of this position dx1 by dt. If I ask you what is the velocity of this particle with respect to the origin, the answer is differentiate this position coordinate dx2 by dt. But I, if I ask you what is the velocity of this particle with respect to this, what you do? What you do? This is the distance between the two particles. So, what is the uh, position? Okay, let me find out the position first. Let the position of particle 2 with respect to particle 1. Particle 1 is the observer now. 1 is the observer. Second is, the, let me suppose, the object of whose velocity I want to find uh, with respect to the object, uh, with respect to particle 1. So, what should I write? x21. What is this x21? This is position of second particle with respect to first particle. Not with respect to origin. With respect to origin, its position is x2. With respect to the origin, its position is x1. But I want to find the position of particle 2 with respect to the particle 1. 
that is just equal to x2 minus x1 this distance this displacement x2 is from here to here x1 is from here to here x2 minus x1 is this so what is the velocity of particle 2 with respect to particle 1 one is the observer and second is the observed or the object itself so i will differentiate this dx 2 1 by dt is equal to dx 2 by dt minus dx 1 by dt okay now what is this this is velocity of 2 with respect to 1 it is velocity of 2 minus velocity of 1 this velocity of 2 with respect to origin maybe with respect to ground you can write g here which if is not mentioned anything on the right side that means velocities are with respect to origin or velocities are with respect to ground so i have proved this uh, i have uh, developed the equation in one dimension but it can be put in three dimensions very easily so this is the equation so velocity of the second particle with respect to first particle this is the observer the right here is the observer is equal to v2 minus v1 that's all this is the relationship so the observer that is one he subtracts his velocity he subtracts his velocity from the velocity 2 this is v2 is the velocity with respect to ground this v1 is also velocity with respect to ground because there is nothing mentioned on the right side so it's always with respect to ground or you can write it g here or g it is velocity of second particle with respect to ground. It is velocity of first particle with respect to ground. This is the velocity of second particle with respect to the first particle. If that means first particle is the observer and second particle is the observed. Or second particle is the object which is being observed by the particle first. This is the base equation. That is all. So, the observer always feels always says the, when the observer uh, observes the object and wants to find his velocity he subtracts his own velocity that is all but the uh, subtraction is vector subtraction although we proved it for the one dimension we can put we can extend the in this formula to the three dimensions we can put in the vector vector form okay this is one point second point is we now have a formula. We have a formula now. The formula is the observer observer subtracts his own velocity. Subtracts his velocity. The observer subtracts his velocity to find the velocity of the object velocity of the object with respect to himself with respect to himself that is all the observer always subtracts his own velocity to find the velocity of the object with respect to himself okay now let me go to some examples so that you understand it better. Suppose it is an object, it is an object one having velocity 10 meters per second. It is object second, it is velocity is okay, maybe 20 meters per second. Both are in the i direction, x direction that is i direction, unit vector. I want to find what is velocity of 2, this particle. With respect to the first this is right side this is the observer that will be this observer will subtract his velocity from the uh, from the object that is v2 minus v1 this is the velocity of object second with respect to uh, first is equal to velocity of the object second object this one with respect to ground minus velocity of the first object with respect to ground these are the two velocities with respect to ground okay now that's equal to what's v2 v2 is 20i minus what is v1 that's 10i that will give you 10i so that means the velocity of the second object 
observed by the first object will only be 10 10 in the forward direction so he will feel this person will feel that this object is moving in the forward direction because of i here only with 10 meters per second if i ask a person on the ground what is its velocity he will say 20 if i ask a person on the ground what is its velocity he will say 10 to the right side in the i direction but if i say also this person what is the velocity of this he will say only 10 because he will subtract his own velocity in the vector way that's all so his observation is that the second object is moving in the forward direction only with 10 meters per second that is what is relative a person on the ground will say this a person on the ground about this will say this but if i ask this what is its velocity he will say only 10. let me find the velocity of first particle with respect to second let me let me say that let second be the observer so that will be uh, velocity of one with respect to second now second is the observer now the second observer i mean the, this observer will subtract his velocity that will be uh, v1 minus v2 that will be v1 will be 10 i minus v2 that is 20 i that will be minus 10 i so he will feel this person will feel that this object one will have 10 meters per second velocity but in this direction he will recede he will feel he is receding away in this direction because now see he is, he is faster he is slower they will recede away from each other and he will feel that he is receding in the backward direction with 10 meters per second okay but this is a general rule that v21 should be always equal to minus of v12 if one says if one says about the other object he is moving in this direction with 10 he will say he is moving the op opposite person is moving in the opposite direction with the same 10 so v21 is always equal to minus v12 negative of that and we got the same thing here here 10i here minus 10i so this v21 is negative of v12 okay third point third one this is how we find the relative velocity and not difficult the relative velocity if observer observer subtracts his own velocity and then decides what is the velocity of the other object that's all third this is the okay let me say it's a man a male person he moves with me uh, uh, 20 meters per second here's a another let me say it is uh, uh, a woman she moves with a velocity of 10 meter per second in this direction let me say this is an i direction again so what is velocity of woman with respect to man let me find it out i want to ask this person this man what is the velocity of this woman as observed by you so he will say he will say velocity of velocity of woman minus velocity of man the man will subtract his velocity in a vector in a vector fashion so what is velocity of woman 10 but i here will be like this minus 10 i minus what is velocity of man that is 20 i and is minus 30 i that means this man will feel that the woman is coming towards him with velocity 30 i in this direction opposite to this i the man is moving in the, this direction the woman is coming opposite way and the person will feel that the woman is moving faster towards the person the, uh, towards him because he is himself moving in the forward direction so what is the velocity of man with respect to woman that will be velocity of man minus velocity of woman that is equal to what is velocity of man that is 20 i minus what is velocity of woman what is velocity of minus mi, minus is the formula minus but what is velocity of woman here that is again minus 10 i so that will be is minus to minus plus that is 30 i it should be it's minus 30 i it is plus 30 i so the woman will feel uh, she will feel that the man is coming towards her with a velocity 30 i that's all fourth point point fourth 
fourth point. Here's the object velocity okay mm, 10 meters per second. This velocity is object another object too. It moves like this. Okay, again 10 meters per second. I want to find it is okay. Let me make the coordinate system roughly. It is i direction, it is j direction. Therefore, this will be minus j and this will be i. It will be 10i and this will be velocity. Uh, it will be v1 is equal to, it is v2 equal to, v2 equal to. Now, what is velocity of the second particle with respect to first particle? Let me write down the rule first. Equation in a very uh, honest way. That is v2 minus v1. It is velocity of second with respect to ground. I mean with respect to this person whose velocity is 0. What is velocity of this first object? 10 i. For this person, velocity of the second is 10 minus j in the downward direction, minus j. So that is v21 is equal to what is v2? That is minus 10j. What is v1? That is 10i. This is the velocity of the second object with respect to the first object. The first object will say this is the velocity, not this, but this. What is the magnitude? What magnitude? The first object will observe root of 10 square plus 10 square. That is 10 root 2. What is in which direction? <coughs> Sorry. In which direction the object, this object is moving? In which direction this object is moving for this, this person? Is this the direction? No. This is the direction for this person. What is the direction? See here. See here the quadrants. It is x, y. This velocity, v21. In which quadrant this velocity lies? The velocity of uh, second with respect to first. In which quadrant this lies? It does not lie in this quadrant. This or this. It lies in this quadrant. So, this person will feel the velocity of the object is like this like this not like this like this because this is this so what is this angle what it makes with the negative x axis theta 10 inverse yes 10 by 10 that is 10 inverse 1 that is 45 degrees so this person person 1 will feel that the object is not uh, going down it is coming like this and makes angle theta with the negative x axis and that angle is also given by this but you can directly say what is the quadrant. When you write down this velocity equation, you can just in, 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 uh, directly write down the quadrant in which quadrant the velocity is. So, you the first person is moving like this. This object was moving like this. For a person on the ground. This was moving like this for a person in the ground. But for this, this person, this object is not moving like this. It's moving like this like this he will feel the mo motion of the object is like this this is his observation the object observation of the first object the observation of the first object is that this second object is not moving like this it is moving like this that's all fifth point fifth point fifth point you may have observed that uh, umbrella and rain problem. When there is a rain falling vertically down, downwards and just vertically downwards, you want to save your head from the rain. What you do? You just put the umbrella like this to save your head from the rain. But when you move faster in the rain, you are moving faster in the rain. When you move yourself in the rain, the direction of the rain velocity will change both in magnitude and direction because now you are a running person and then uh, what you do if your rain is falling vertically downwards for a person at rest and if a, a person at rest wants to uh, save his head from the rain he will put the umbrella like this so that his head is saved from the rain but if you are running in the rain don't you know that you have to put your uh, umbrella inclined 
you have to put the umbrella inclined like this not like this but like this that means rain is uh, coming in this direction it is it is coming in the slanted direction something like this suppose fifth rain is falling like this v rain okay for the ground for a person at rest it is rain falling and you want to save your head you put the umbrella like this to save your head but now the person is moving velocity of the man with respect to ground he is moving with respect to ground so what will be the rain velocity for this man that is all i want to find the rain velocity for a running man not for this stationary person for the stationary person it is falling vertically downwards and he wants to save his head he will put the umbrella like this now see it is velocity of the rain for the ground okay if you don't write g here it means it is anyway with respect to ground and here is the person he is running like this it is velocity of the man velocity of the man with respect to ground okay now i want to find velocity of the rain with respect to this man so velocity of rain for the man is equal to velocity of the rain minus velocity of man as as per the formula goes so velocity of rain for the velocity of rain for the man running man this one is equal to what is velocity of rain that is v rain okay what is this direction okay this is minus j direction this is i direction velocity of rain is magnitude j is direction minus what is velocity of man that is velocity of man what is the magnitude what is direction i okay now which quadrant it is which direction is this now it is the magnitude what is the magnitude of the rain with respect to man that is root of vr square vectors plus vm square that means the rain will hit you faster it will hit you hit you harder when you are running because speed of the rain has also increased it is vr square plus vm square what about the direction whatever the direction of the rain the direction of the rain has changed for a running man how have a look here i want to put this it is now uh, the rain was falling like this we rain for a ground but what's the direction of the rain for the running man here that is this quadrant because negative and negative and this negative and negative means here it is v rain here it is minus v man here this one and this one it is i it is j negative right so this is the direction of the rain that means the rain is falling like this now it's not falling like this it is falling like this so you have to put your umbrella like this to save your face if you remember that if you run on a, on a scooter the rain is falling the rain falls just on your face because it has tilted its direction with respect to you because you are running okay now what is this theta with respect to vertical it was falling vertically for a person on the ground now it is not falling vertically it is falling like this so what is tan theta that is this by this that is vm by vr theta is equal to tan inverse vm by vr that is all so here i explained you the relative velocity concept relative velocity is that you the observer subtracts his velocity and the observer feels that he is at rest in his own frame of reference in his own frame of reference he feels he is at rest and gives and uh, subtracts his own velocity from the uh, from the observed or from the object velocity now i will deliver one more lecture on this relative velocity but that lecture will uh, i will explain uh, an x technique and another technique 
to find relative velocity. This is one technique. I want to discuss one more technique with you in the next lecture. Uh, but you should not forget to download my app. The literature is there all in the app. The questions are there. You can download them or you can just look at the questions and try to solve all those questions. Solution set is also there given. And you can also watch my lectures on my YouTube. Also, you can watch these lectures on my website, on my uh, that application, uh, Tatrasar Physics Classes. Thank you.